In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to all of you who are watching us online. We call to mind our sins, seeking the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more early towards the great celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, they did not pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs not their faces to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, prophets. Yet they have not obeyed nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come to his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, heart. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God. We are the people he shepherded, the flock he guides. If today hear his voice, pardon not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in Meribah, as in the day of Massai in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had not seen my works. If today hear his voice, pardon not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless mercy.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and a house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overtakes him, he takes away the armor of which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. So our gospel today raises the question, are we with Jesus or against him? How would we know? A reading from the prophet Jer Jeremiah gives us some answers. God says, listen to my voice. Walk in the ways I command you. How do we listen to God's voice today? We know that God speaks through the scriptures, the voice of the church, wise men and women, and in the depths of our hearts. And so hearing God's voice is only the first step. The second and perhaps harder step is walking in the ways of God's commands. So we need to put what we hear into action. You may recall yesterday that I said that Jesus reduced the 613 Jewish laws called the Law of Moses or Mosaic Law into two. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. God tells the prophet Jeremiah that the people have not listened or obey. They will suffer consequences for their disobedience. And that's a theme that we'll hear this weekend uh, for, uh, the, in the first reading from the second book of Chronicles. What would Jesus say to us today? Jesus in the gospel is accused of driving out demons by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons. It would be like a banker helping a robber steal money from a bank. And so Jesus claims that his power over evil comes from his heavenly Father. Some questions to consider on this beautiful Lenten day. Whose side are you on? What do our actions show? Is our charity stronger than greed? Our care and respect of neighbor, whether it be at home or abroad, stronger than hatred and discrimination? Do we live our faith? Do we serve or are we simply self-serving? Are we with him or against him? It's our choice. Let's think about that for a moment.
we now lift up to the Lord our many needs and concerns as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our bishops, may the gifts of the Holy Spirit help them in every way as they shepherd their flocks. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For community leaders, may God give them a spirit of humility and generosity in leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the chronically ill, may Christ crucified draw them close to himself in a time of suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of this community, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in us a spirit of joy for the gift of our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they soon rest in peace of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Charles and Donald Springman, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? For Claudia, who's having surgery today, and Tim, who's having surgery tomorrow, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 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 For the sick and for the dying, as we mark the first year of the coronavirus pandemic, we pray uh, for healing for those who have recovered from this virus. We pray for researchers and for doctors and nurses and respiratory therapists and all those who work in hospitals and assisted living places. May they, be, may they continue to be given strength and healing and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. And we make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray, from every taint of wickedness, that their gifts may be pleasing to you. And do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the rewards of your truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with all the angels and saints as we praise you forever. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake he was handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when he was about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, with all the bishops and all of your people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, with our sisters and brothers, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray the words that Jesus himself once prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we have that since we have from you all that we are, through your grace may we seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. You may be seated. And Kathy is going to dismiss you from the back of the church to the front. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Enjoy the warm weather. The pollen is, is high, according to my nose. Have a good day. Thank you.